Right, so in this video I'm just going to quickly show you the procedure for soft modding your Xbox with the 2016 soft modding tool uh, release candidate 3. Um, I changed the skin and how it functions. Um, if you've seen the previous video for the preview for RC3, I've actually changed it again. Um, that's what the delay was. Uh, so And also I was working on Chimp. 26, 18, 12. Um, so I got a bit sidetracked. But anyway, this is just my test box, which is a bedroom 1.6 Xbox. I've restored it to the factory reset setting on the 2016 soft modding extras disc. Uh, you can use that to it basically formats the e-partition and installs all the exploitable game saves and the latest Microsoft Dashboard 5960 onto the Xbox so it no longer plays uh, unsigned code. So I'm going to be using Splinter Cell and the process is simple and you can't go wrong. Um, during the soft mod process, or I should say at the end of the soft mod process, um, I back up the EEPROM with my EEPROM back rubber and I also turn down more, and I also populate the Shadow C partition. So it's just basically press A wait for it to finish I then tell you some information you press A twice so you understand that information and that's it you're soft modded and all set up so exploit loads and you're presented with a screen just me saying thank you as you may have noticed if you watched the previous video this looks different it's a lot cleaner looking and it's a lot more sim simple, simplistic looking as well. So all you do is you press the A button and that's it, you just wait now. It takes about just over a minute, I'd say, maybe less to install the soft mode. Well, technically the soft mod is already installed. When you get to the Shadow C image file, the soft mod's already installed. It's just this file's nearly 400 megabytes, so it's quite large. Eh, well, nearly 500 megabytes, so it's quite large. And then once that's finished copying to the hard drive, it then sets up all the recovery dashboards and the NK patcher settings menus and stuff. And that's it done. <clears throat> so your EEPROM backup is placed in eBackup's EEPROM. Um, after the soft mod, or once it's restarted and you've taken the disc out, the game you used to load the exploit, uh, you want to back this up as soon as you can and keep it safe. Uh, the reason being is if your hard drive ever breaks, as long as you have a copy of your EEPROM, you can create a new hard drive and you'll be back up and running. Um, or in today's world you may you could probably just buy another xbox it'd probably be cheaper than buying a new hard drive um, but anyway you understand and this is just me being what like i said in the previous video a smart new bugger uh, basically saying it was easy so when you press a the led on the front of the xbox will turn orange and then it will restart Once it restarts, you eject the game disk.
and it loads straight into your dashboard. And that's your all set up. So I'll quickly run through the NK patcher settings as well. So this menu's changed as well as you can see. Um, in RC3 I changed how the NK patcher settings done. Um, it's now modular. And what I mean by that is if you go down here you see modules and you can have your own modules um, if you want to have one that installs wallpapers or something I'm not entirely sure um, essentially it's just Unleash X with a custom config.xml which runs and you can install stuff do stuff but instead of modifying NK patcher settings you can now do it from uh, or you can now create your own kind of app, so to speak, and then load it from NK Patcher settings. So this way, you don't have to touch NK Patcher settings to do certain things. So you can release them as mods or upgrades or whatever. So as you can see, place them in ENK Patcher settings modules. So the built-in ones are backup, restore, and move, and that's for the dashboard. The EEPROM backer upper. Exit NK patcher settings, reboot and resolve mod dash. Now these are used for all various tasks. Um, the resolve mod dash allows you to resolve mod the Xbox. If you put the splinter, for instance, if I put splinter cell back in again and I load the exploit again, I'll be presented with the resolve mod dashboard, and it gives you a choice to either resolve mod the console or load NK patcher settings. Uh, Unleash X settings as well so you can now change the video, change the IP address, whatever. Um, and the dashboard settings like in the previous video there's now dual booting. Um, all the information is there, it's extremely simple. And the soft mod package, um, there's an application called Open Dashboard uh, open dash dual boot settings dot settings it's a folder inside that folder there's a batch file or a dot bat file you load that up and you can customize where you want your dual booting dashboard to be placed so you can have an ef or g you then enter the uh, the path that you want and then you enter the xbe name that you want and then it asks you if it's correct, if it's correct you hit Y, enter and then I'll ask you if you want me to FTP it to your Xbox or you can do it manually and at the end of the process I give you instructions on what to do as well so restore, as it says restore um, also the icon in the top right has changed I can't remember if in the previous video it was changed um, don't think it was, um, but it's now simpler and cleaner looking. So back up the store and move. I've updated this as well. Um, these are just the same. You can back up your C dashboard or your E dashboard. Um, it's got an indicator to say that it's been backed up and it's present so you can restore it. Uh, move dashboards, you can now move your dashboard from C dashboard to E dashboard, C dash or E dash and you can swap and change. Um, each one, for instance if you went to E dash, C dash will be enabled because it's already there. So you need to get into that menu to then change to whatever dashboard so forth. Restore dashboards, C dash, port, E dash port, and then back to NK patcher settings. Um, I tried to make it so that you don't have to restart the Xbox and reboot in to get into the dashboard settings and stuff like that. Uh, to do that, I've used NK patcher to swap between stuff. But what that means now is when you switch video modes, you it requires a restart straight away. Um, the reason being is NK Patcher doesn't like loading over itself if the video mode's changed. So if I force um, 480p 
all the other ones current uh, the one currently loaded in memory hasn't got it forced so it just conflicts and it ends up you just end up in a loop it just hangs easiest way to solve that is reboot um, everything else doesn't require a reboot so you can swap partitions and then you load back to the dash or updated um, kernel fonts same as before this is now done automatically so depending on your xbox whatever kernel font your xbox has you'll have a tick next to it um, this just gives you 100% compatibility with the exploit so when the dashboard crashes at the beginning of the xbox boot process a specific font is loaded which then crashes the system and then loads the ernie font which then loads the nk patcher and so forth this font just gives you the best compatibility you can get instead of using the generic one um, if for whatever reason you have a xbox that nobody has ever seen before um, or you have a kernel version that nobody has ever seen before then it will just go to the generic one which works on all systems uh, fan speed same uh, virtually com the exact same you can now back up the com without having to restart the xbox um, and that's it so that's the 2016 soft modern tool release candidate free um, if anybody finds any problems let me know um, hopefully there isn't any uh, there was some last night when I uploaded everything and I was doing a video like this um, I realised that there was an error and I fixed it and I'll just quickly show you something actually so in this soft mod you can't break the soft mod without knowing what you're doing so the only way you can damage this soft mod is if you know how to damage it and therefore it's the user's fault it's not my fault that you went in and deliberately deleted something or done something to damage it that's your fault um, I try and make this soft mod as user friendly and robust as possible so now when your dashboard is deleted or say you were updating xbmc and you forgot to rename the xbe file or you didn't rename the folder properly and you can fix it via ftp um, or you can just restore a clean version of your c drive um, again i'm just being smart maybe with the comments you know get me out here i'm super smart and fix my own issue or restore c yes please i'm an empty and I need your help. Now, if for whatever reason you've been in mucking about and you delete your, you've deleted your dash. Okay, it's not deleting. Oh, move. <laughs> if you're deleting your dashboard, and for some strange reason the recovery dashboards got removed somehow you know because you deleted them because it's really the only way you would remove them um, or you could just format the e-partition by accident or delete the uData or tdata folder um, but if this ever occurred and your xbox boots up you'll get to the recovery dashboard so again simple nice looking easy to understand you can if the soft mode save is still on your xbox you can re soft mod your xbox or you can fix my soft mode um, either or the fix my soft mode will check for files and if it's found files are found it will then repair the soft mode and load you back in and you'll have your dashboard back or if it wasn't there um, it will ask you to set up a new one uh, we soft mod my xbox self explanatory that will we soft mod your xbox as if it was the first time you installed it so we will just go ahead and get it fixed excuse me um, i updated the information on this to state that if 
for whatever reason it fails. So if you formatted the e-partition, the process will fail because the files I need don't exist. You can just either download my extras disk or if you've already downloaded it and bumped it to a disk, insert the disk just now and press left trigger, right trigger, black and start button after the disk is initialized. Um, you'll hear it in the drive, kind of speed up um, or let it sit in the drive for 10 seconds and then do it. Um, you can then load into the disk and just use the upgrade older soft mods function and that will just reinstall the soft mod to scratch. Um, but I haven't formatted these so it's found the files. I didn't remove my shadow Z image because I haven't been in the C partition or the unprotected one, so I select no. And that's it. The Xbox will now restart. I will back up the EEPROM and apply the correct kernel font again. The LED again turns orange and then the console reboots. And now we're back where we left off again. So, again, that's the 2016 soft modern tool, uh, release candidate 3. Like I said, if you find bugs, let me know. So, um, thanks for watching. And if you do use it, hopefully you find the process easy. You can give me feedback on the ISO zone forums or in the comments in this video. Um, or if you want to see anything different or you need help. Just let me know and I'll help you as much as I can or if it's a valid feature that you want added and I think it's worth adding then I can may add that as well before I release the version 1. If there is no issues and there is no requests or anything then I can get this released and forget about it because I shouldn't need to do anything else after this. Um, so anyway that's me done, thanks for watching.